What's going on, everybody? Doc here, Average Gamer Guys. Back again. Last day on Earth action. Free to play. We're jumping in. We actually just got hit up with a, uh, just like right at the start of this episode, we're going to jump into, we're going to go knock out uh, really quickly if we can. We're going to go knock out a, uh, a rest stop. That wasn't originally on the plans for today, but we have it and we uh, we have to make use, the best use of rest stops as we can. They are fantastic. I've talked about these a lot probably in the series, shown a handful, uh, but uh, a fantastic, fantastic thing to be able to jump in and grab and usually very, very worthwhile for us in terms of what we can find out of this. So, the plan for today, if you saw, I had some gear. We were ready to rock and roll. We're going to be heading over to take on the commune a little bit. Um, we've got the commune event rocking and rolling. And uh, it's not something that I've done a ton on free to play. A lot of comments surrounding this event. It's not great. It is a pretty big resource sink. However, uh, I think we can complete a few of the, uh, few of the initial levels of it. And I do think we can get some okay rewards while also advancing our season progress, which is a good thing. That's really what we want to focus on here right at the start of the season. Kind of like that the commune is here. I also do really understand why lots of folks don't take it on because, again, it's a pretty big drain. You got to get a little lucky in terms of like the uh, in terms of like what you're what you're finding and and what the, the bonuses and the boosts and the. Uh, or the negatives are We've Got a lot of zombies here at the start. So uh, this is probably my least preferred one These guys are gonna get crunched here, which means we're just gonna dance basically Yeah, they're just getting bald right now. They're gonna do their best here What I try to do is sneak in grab these these guys Uh, we'll likely get another group. That's what it is. Okay, so we're gonna play the dodge game here on this one um, I don't like this one very much. I would much prefer we would get the uh, The one with all the deer that one's the really really good to be able to grab some uh, You know some furs and some meat, which is really helpful. I Also don't mind the one where the guys basically get in an argument and shoot each other and then you got to take them down that one's usually not some pretty good resources this one will be okay it's just more annoying annoying than anything is uh this this massive wave of zombies that we have to deal with here so what i do like to do we're gonna take a little bit of damage here we're just gonna run these guys in a little bit of a circle that helps them to group up then we just dodge them. And we head up here. I want to be able to hit the uh, the bikes very quickly. The bikes in this have the best loot. They're going to have usually some weapons. Double weapon. Nice. That's a huge one, actually. Hopefully the, uh, the weapon crate can be pretty good. We do want to hit all these bodies and grab what we can. That's not bad. I grab as much as I can here. What I don't know is if I pop out of here, if these zombies are still here, I can't remember with this event. Um, I usually just run them around in circles a couple of times, but let me see if these guys are still here. You can also kill them to get some seasonal progress if you wanted to do that. Let's take the bike. We could hit him with the bike too. It actually might have cleared them. Nope, they're still back. I thought so. We could actually do that. That would be kind of fun. We haven't used our bike very much at all. <laughs> he 
he said you're dead we got absolutely crunched though oh my gosh can i get off of this please Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I don't have enough time. We'll do this one more time really quickly. Again, most of the time, I just run them to the corner. It's the most effective. Running into a few of them was kind of fun. <laughs> Not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these while we can. I'm just going to use this up. Let's open this. Nice. That's actually really good. Nice M16. That's why I really like these events. I'm going to get rid of this. Organize this. We're going to need that quickly. We'll jump back in here. And we will grab these. I really do think hitting the supply drops and these events right here, uh, your rest stop events, are huge. Huge, huge, huge. One of the best ways to get some really good, I'm going to call it early supplies just force them to walk down this way and we'll ride the bike but we're gonna head to the commune after this and uh again we're gonna just try to see what we can get done here see what supplies we can grab there's another set of zombies jeez come on guys I just really need to get over and search the... Search the uh, the last bike. Almost wish I wouldn't have left the event. Just stayed in it. Because I had the, the zombies all nicely grouped hit together. We do have a nice extra 100% bonus going on for experience, so. All right, let's go quick here. Nice. Good weapons. We'll find some good gas here. And I got one more guy. All right, that's it. We're going to head back. We're going to drop this stuff off, and uh, we'll grab our supplies. We'll head over to the commune. See you there. All right. We're here. Commune time. So here's what we're coming. We've got uh, coming with. We've got uh, a pretty beat up set of armor here. We've got another kind of sort of beat up set of armor. We're going to just try to use these things up, kind of make use of them. I'm bringing a handful of glocks and some machetes. Um, we're going to see my, my goal here is to get through the gas chamber one completely and then see if we can do two levels of both of the other ones. So we should mostly be able to melee the first event here, which isn't bad, and then we'll see what we can get complete. Uh, again, why would you want to do this? Seasonal progress. In my opinion, that's the best thing that you're getting out of this. Some of the rewards can be okay. They can be some decent stuff, but it's a lot of RNG to take a look at it. And the bigger thing here is you have to, in my opinion, what makes this worthwhile is that you have to get lucky with whatever these, essentially these debuffs or buffs for the enemies are. Um, personally, I don't really like this one. 10 to 25 points in restoring their health when they hit you is like kind of brutal. Um, probably going to have to use more uh, of our guns than we would with our melees here, which is kind of unfortunate. So, um, and... You know, again, seasonal reward, 150 points isn't crazy. This will kind of stack up as we go, which can be pretty good. If you do have some coins, you can double whatever rewards you get and or upgrade armor and weapons. So there is some potential for some really good stuff. Um, I've gotten a handful of decent things out of this. The next set of rewards will be significantly better. I think the one way that they could make this event better would be is if they would show you your entire reward track uh, right at the get-go, right? And Or let us kind of pick a handful of things that maybe we want. Um, I think that would kind of let people determine if this is a better or a good event for them to utilize the resources. Because these rewards are essentially just random and you don't know what the next stage is going to be, 
it makes that part a little bit different difficult so but we're gonna give this a go this one's not too bad we should be able to basically melee all these guys down hoping before they hit us or even if they do to get it knocked out that first stage isn't bad we'll do our heal here okay so again in my opinion this isn't a terrible reward so med kits is okay that's pretty good um but getting a air filter for us at this point right now is actually kind of nice so i'm gonna give this a go we'll give this a go we don't have to fight this guy so the hard part here is going to be hopefully be able to melee most of these guys dodge him here use a couple of bandages the next stage will likely have to use some of our weapons that was pretty good that was pretty clean our machete is holding up i'm gonna swap our armor here uh just because i don't want to lose the armor now again like this is actually pretty huge in terms of rewards the fact that we're gonna be able to grab two steel plates if we finish this is really good like that is that is a this is some of the best rewards i've seen out of this one in in a minute to be honest with you um steel plates explosive is really good i mean the worst reward in my opinion on this is the electronic circuit but that's not even bad um i'm gonna go like full gun here probably nice we got a good level up we gotta dodge this guy be careful with this we got to be careful with this bloody chaser he will absolutely destroy our armor we got hit that's not ideal but we're gonna get it done okay that could have been a little bit cleaner but we made it and i'm grabbing this and this is really good how many coins do i have we have 228 <clears throat> Um, I don't think this is going to make sense to upgrade this. But again, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. But we're going to grab two steel plates and an air filter. We'll grab a little bit of food, which we'll use. That, to me, was worth what we got here. That, that I think I think that was pretty reasonable. So I'm going to take this. We get 600 season points. That's pretty cool. All right, level up. Of course. We, we cannot... We, we just are not finding the burglar skill. We're just absolutely not finding it. It's crazy. Okay. Um, What I want to do now is I'm going to go take on this event because I think we're going to need some fresh armor. I think we can do this one without the armor. All right. So here, armor increased by 5%. This one's not too bad. That's actually... We should be okay with that. I'm going to take the bandages. Probably use the bandages. And I think I'll probably do most of this. I'm going to grab a melee back. That hurt. Kind of have to watch our health here. We're getting tainted, which isn't great. This is doing what we need it to do, though. We're doing all right. Okay. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. You're gonna need some more heals probably and i definitely need really definitely need more armor <laughs> okay so again this is pretty good this is pretty good i think we swap into all guns here though i'm gonna do that i think for this one um 
Got this kind of crappy armor, but I'm going to run just all guns. I really want to get this landmine. Um, that would be really nice. We, we, it would be good to be able to start stockpiling some of these. Again, we could take the air filter. That wouldn't be a bad reward either, but I'm going to take... I'm going to take this landmine for sure. And when regular's enemy health drops below 30%, damage increased by 100. So we got to just pay attention to our health here. But we should be able to take care of most of this. Pretty easily. We do have a full heal here. I'm going to use right now. Still in spore spreader territory, unfortunately. I gotta be really careful here, I'm gonna die. That was a little close. That was a little close. That was a little close. A little close for comfort. <sighs> I want the lenses and I want these. I want this factory part so bad. It's not worth it though. Um, the last wave of this is is. I'm not going to say difficult, but it is pretty hard, especially considering the totality of the enemies. And we're on pretty low supplies here. I think this will be enough to get through the first round of the other low, of the other trial. Um, it will grab some armor and I think we'll be okay. So I'm going to just, I'm going to claim this one just the way that it is. Again, could be tempting. Might make sense to do this. The extra reward for this, especially if you can get through to the third level of these, upgrading this to get the extra seasonal reward on this event and the last one we're going to go do is actually pretty good because you do get a lot of seasonal progress. We're not going to do that here. 550 seasonal progress. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're ticking up a couple of levels here, which is solid. And honestly, I've actually been pretty happy with the rewards. We've gotten some decent, decent rewards. So... Let's dive into our equipment here. And, ooh, oh, perfect. I have a reinforced set. We don't have to use any tactical armor, which is good. And then let me see about consumables. We could just grab a stack of first aid kits. We'll do that just in case. I don't want to use the weapon resources uh, and end up dying. So we'll just be safe here. We'll use these. I'm okay with that. We're going to try to melee most of this. And we'll see what we can get. Now, again, how this works for these types of rewards is that um, if you were then to spend to upgrade this, it's just going to upgrade these weapons with additional attachments. The armor, it will bring it up to the next like level of armor. So um could be useful if you're like, struggling on certain weapons if you can get some guns in these which is pretty cool um so keep that in mind i'm going to take the cleaver just because it's a good weapon and i wouldn't mind having it this one isn't so bad uh what you're doing here is essentially fighting this guy to kill the zombies before he kills them the fact that they can escape death and restore a little bit of health means that you can get an extra kind of shot in um if he ends up accidentally like killing them and then they can revive essentially or not die and then you can get the last shot so this one's more about timing than it is every anything but you do need to move quickly in order to take the zombies down so all right yeah well and uh right now it's not working for us That one worked just good. There we go. 
Again, just a lot about timing. And ideally, you draw them away. You let him do most of the damage. Damn it. He critted. You will target different things which can work in your favor. Okay, we got 30 seconds left. We did. Okay. Could have been worse. Definitely could have been better. And we had to focus in there a little bit. But that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Alright. I'm doing this next one. And the reason for it is because... We have the ability to grab some grenades. And grenades are just too good. The rewards on this... This time around, fantastic comparative to... Again, they're not necessarily, like, bad. They're just not very good a lot of times. And these this set of rewards has been really, really good. Um, I'm going to just take this, like, juiced-up shotgun. Oh, it has spread shot on it, too. Okay, this is where we're going. I'm hoping... I'm hoping this is going to be enough. I want the grenades really, really badly. Alright, here we go. Okay, okay. Okay. If we get a good group in. The good part is he's dealing less damage. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, good, good, good. Red Shot has not reset yet. We need one more. Boy, that was close. Oh, that was close. That was close. Oh. And again, this would be one where like five military notebooks is pretty solid. I'm not going to push this though. Uh, again, I'm not going to commit at more resources to this. Um, that went pretty good. That went pretty good. We were able to get a little bit more done than I wanted to. But again, claim the reward here. Um, I'm actually kind of tempted to spend the coins just to get the extra grenades. And 2750 is really good. That's the highest. This one rewards the highest amount of seasonal experience because, again, of how difficult it is, which does make sense. So I actually like that system. Uh, again, you saw that the first house that we did, the little gas chamber thing, pretty easy for the most part. Again, you really could... If you get the right rolls on the debuffs, you could do that all with melee. This one, you definitely have to be able to use some weapons on. The shotgun would have been great on the last one with the spread shot. I'm doing it. I'm taking the extra grenades. Grenades are so, so, so valuable to us and our ability to... Oh, and this is a really good cleaver, actually. Um, grenades are just so valuable to us to be able to get through uh, Bunker Alpha. And doing the the third floor trick getting a lot of experience there that was actually really nice that was really nice and you can see here look at we're gonna tick up really really good all the way up to a level 11. 
uh, just from this one commune event. So that was pretty solid. That was pretty good. Uh, like I said, I think you can be really smart with this event to get some additional progress. I, I do believe that you can. And uh, I think a lot of people are turned off on this event with how difficult it is and some of the challenges with it and some of the resources. But if you get a little bit of resources and are, and are okay committing just a bit of resources to it, then uh, I think you can have some success. We have a supply drop over here. So we can also check to see what the dealer is running. Let's try to move quickly here. Let's see what the dealer is running. And then we'll head up to the supply drop as well. I got the uh, I got the weapons and the heals to support this. We have two minutes though. We got to go quick. We got to go quick, quick, quick. But it's good. It's good. In the next episode, I've talked about this in our previous one, but I'm going to be jumping into Port Lab and working towards getting some carbon composite and some weapon parts. I'm actually very, very excited about that. So we're going to see what kind of progress we can make, but let's see what the dealer... 10 stone brick, 5 iron bars, 10 pine planks, 10 5 leather. I don't really... I don't particularly like this. Uh, this is a hefty trade. Stone and pine, I think he said. I'm just grabbing whole stacks of this as I can. Go quickly here. Or I'm going to try to go quickly. Again, grenades is huge. Put the mines down, put the shotgun. Uh, we'll talk about some base upgrades when we get back. That's fine. It's fine. That's this is fine. This is fine. Go, 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 go. I think we'll make it. Let's see what this trade is. I don't do a ton of the trades with the dealer here. Um, you can get a perk where uh, that will make these more beneficial. I don't even know. Do I have it? You, there's a skill. Here, the trader skill uh, will be offered offered to, to allow you to do better ones. I think if you do have that, this can be pretty beneficial. It is worthwhile to look, I would say, just to see what he's, what the trade is. Sometimes the trades are, aren't crazy at all. Um, I'm not mad at a, most of these resources. The exception of the leather and the iron kind of stinks a little bit, but it's a weapon crate. We'll do this. We'll do this. That's fine. I'll take the weapon crate. Make sure if you do that and you put in the extras, you uh, you take your things back. We're sitting pretty nice today in terms of extra weapons. You saw that we were able to hit uh, the rest stop. Now this trader. Now we're going to go hit a supply drop. This is just the daily stuff that I tried to do as consistently as possible. Uh, which is one of the reasons I've been so successful, I think, in in kind of just being able to move through not only a story mode, but just progression, right? We still have a ton to do, a ton to do. We've got a lot of base building still to do. I need to dedicate some time to just farming basic resources. But um, I, I think being able to hit these with some consistency, getting the bike as well was really beneficial. Uh, to be able to start hitting rest stops. And uh, with that, again, I think we've been able to make some really nice progress. Get chopped. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah. You're dead. I like this because you can get... You can get a nice bit of materials from this location too. And uh, we may... May choose to auto this location after we grab what we can grab here. Typically, you get enough to like clear out all the, um, clear out most of the the trees and those kinds of things. We have a few extra things in our inventory, but sneak attack is always the best friend. You can sneak attack the skills. 
Did I really get hit by that? Wow, I thought I was definitely far enough away. Wow. I am not paying attention. That was a little silly. Okay, let's see what the crate has. Then I do think I am going to auto up the location. We'll heal while we're doing that. That's another thing that you can do is hit the heal and then we can swap the skills. Just a little efficiency things. Okay, not bad. Another sledge. Another big skull crusher. I wanted to see if it had any mods on it, but it does not. Um, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. I mean, overall, take a look. Oh, we should see what we get here. M16. That was worth it. That was definitely worth the trade for the supplies. Ow! Stop it. Honestly startled me a little bit. I didn't expect to be getting hit there. Let's drop these things in here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to run around. We're going to auto this location up. And uh, we'll grab a few materials. And then we'll uh, head back to the base and talk about a, a few small but important base upgrades. Back in a minute. All right, as we jump back in here, one thing I didn't cover about uh, taking the resources at those supply drop events is that you're actually going to get a pretty decent amount of enemy spawn-ins. Um, and it seems like, in my experience at least, it's a pretty high priority that you're actually going to get wolves, just the regular basic gray wolves. So those are not a bad place. Again, if you auto the location up, pay attention, um, but you probably will end up picking up a couple of wolves. We also ran into uh, like the NPC characters, uh, like two or three of them over the course of, of kind of farming the rest of the location. And here's everything that we picked up from that spot, in addition to the weapons and the things that we dropped into the chopper. So overall, pretty worthwhile little spot which is really really nice and uh, again we didn't take any hatchets in we were able to basically make two farm down the rest of the wood again some of the player npc characters that spawned in brought some materials with them and a handful of things here obviously you know keep in mind that we found i think 10 pine planks and a couple of these resources we bought for the trade but all in all pretty solid pretty solid we're actually quite happy with that <laughs> um I'm going to keep um, still working on breaking some weapons down. I talked about this previously, but uh, we're actually making some good progress in terms of the recycler, trying to get some things up. I believe it's level 50 is the max for these. And uh, electronics is doing pretty good. Mechanics is up there. They've actually done a lot from a clothing standpoint too, which has been good. I've been trying to just be smart about recycling old materials down. And uh, that's going to pay off hopefully for us here in the long run so bear with me while we drop in a few things and uh get a few of these going get a few benches going we'll always want our benches going as much as we can i didn't realize that this was completely out i will grab one of these and we'll put these down and we'll do this and we'll do that trying to stay pretty organized here this drop down i've been wanting to make a lot of charcoal kind of get our charcoal stacks back up and running here and let's see what else what else do we got i always put my hatchets here if you don't uh, if you're not worried about base raids at that point that's a really good little storage container area for you we got some specialty stuff here we have a lot of wires i am realizing that's not a bad thing. I don't think I have spots for wires. Put that down. I do try to break a lot of this down as well and keep making cloth. It is really, really helpful for us. Got that. We'll put that up. Got good stacks of food. Again, we ended up getting six. Six animal rawhide out of that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Got their puppies yelling at us. Drop in some carrots. Again, we do need to hit some basic locations and uh, kind of take care of some stuff there. But uh, so base upgrade wise, a couple of things that we did uh, just because we really were running out of some space. I am going to slowly, very slowly, start upgrading some of our containers here and we did two i essentially did one for armor and one for our weapons this is definitely the biggest need i think if the next thing i was gonna do was probably upgrade one of these chests 
just to be able to hold a handful more of this type of items, the things that we need for crafting and a few others. I'd actually like to get maybe like two of these chests upgraded just for the additional slots. So uh, if you're not familiar with this or you're still working through your journey, you have your chest. If you go to upgrade this, it essentially upgrades it from its current slots up to 45. So it's a pretty significant upgrade in terms of additional space. And you can see here that uh, we did these two. We are really starting to stack up some solid gear here. We've got some nice sets of armor, which is really, really good. Good SWAT armor. We've got plenty of tactical sets. So we're kind of escalating ourselves there. We've got a really nice stockpile of weapons here, which I'm very, very excited about. We've got shotguns. Actually, I think I dropped the shotgun. Where did I put that shotgun? Where was it? Where'd it go? It's right here. Um, we've got a really good stockpile of some of these weapons. And uh, what I want to do, again, for Port Lab, we're going to use a good amount of materials and resources when we go to tackle that here in the next episode because I want to try to clear all the way through it. That's going to be my goal. I'm going to have to break that episode into two. Uh, but we've got some resources to spend to do that. In addition, we're very slowly, very, very slowly starting to grab a handful of the Genesis weapons, which can allow us to change that into the hardcore mode if we choose to do that. So um, I've actually been very, very happy with our progress here and what we've been able to stack up. Again, we're starting to get some C4 as well. Nice stack of Uzis, nice stack of M16s. Try to keep this as best organized as I can so I know I wanna to go to a specific spot with some weapons. We'll throw this in here, but um, I'm, I've, I've been very happy, been very happy. Now, basic weapons, we're still struggling a little bit. Not really struggling necessarily, but I'm just trying to be a little bit conservative. We've been using machetes as we've been finding them. And uh, I think that part's been important. That's been good. It's been helpful. Um, and, but it is still not something that I want to create a ton of, which is why I was kind of hoping to see our ability to get some more cleaver mods. I would really like to see this get leveled up. The resource drain here is not as significant, and I still think a pretty solid weapon. Um, I still think crowbar takes the cake in terms of this, but it is... A decent amount of iron bars which again not super hard to get uh, but it's just more farming and uh, we shouldn't be as shy or afraid of that because we need to get experience and levels up but uh, it is a resource I pay some close attention to as compared to the machete by far a fantastic weapon the, the biggest burn here is the fact that it takes 12 leather so uh, we can kind of shift the resources down this also takes 15 iron bars when we go to look at it again comparative to five and five here and then four that crowbar again if we got more mods on cleavers it would be worth the extra couple of pine planks um, but uh, we'll be sticking with crowbars probably at least for a little while as we get into some things here so um, really quickly I'm gonna just make sure oops don't want to do that do this we'll do this I don't want to forget and uh, one thing that I've also been working on is trying to look at getting this upgraded. And I really think we're gonna dump some more resources into getting this finalized. Um, and then we can really start focusing on Bunker Alpha, getting the hard mode, trying to work a little bit there, trying to get some more levels so we can start getting some of those crates because that will be really helpful. And then also put a little bit of energy into actual port lab and see if we can get some progress through the sewer and through the delivery system to get some of those chests. But we need acid bath to be able to make that efficient and useful for us. So that's something for us to take a look at. I actually wanna see, I'm not concerned. Okay, we have 19 of these. I have seven of these. We have more that we could make. And then bolts wise, I think it was 60. Let me just see where this puts us at. We might actually be able to get this done. Really comfortable to drop these in here. That's not hard. That's not difficult. We're not quite there. We're almost there. I'm going to do this. I'm going to drop these in. That makes sense to me. It makes sense to me. Let me see if I have any aluminum plates. Or other things. I do have some factory parts and some carbon composite. I should look at 
the wrong areas for this. We have some steel plates and we have some aluminum plates. Okay. Yep. We're just going to do this. I'm five steel plates away. That's really good. I think we can actually make these. Do I have some steel bars? I am going to be one steel plate away. But I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, I would really like to get that done. I really want to get that done. Uh, just again, so we have the access to it. And so that we can start focusing or thinking about trying to get some of those other rewards from those crates. The crates end up being pretty, pretty dang solid for us. Um, so I'm excited for that. I'm thinking these will go in here. Yes, they will. Beautiful. Okay. And uh, we got some filters already. We've got plenty of acid. So if we do get the opportunity to uh, kind of work down or, you know, de you know, decompose any of the, the barnacles or the, you know, anything from the uh, bunker alpha crate uh, where we got to get the contagion or whatever off of it is. Uh, we have an opportunity to do that with the filters and the um, uh, the acid that we have. So um, I'm happy about that. I want to just take a look, see here. Is there anything else that would make sense for me to drop in the factory parts or the carbon composite on? So I do have some springs. I've got to kind of figure out what I want to do with my next set of springs here. Um, gosh, again, this would be really fun to get. So with this optic would be really good. We'll see how much carbon composite we end up getting um, out of our run on Port Lab and then try to make a smart play for that because I think in total we'll have seven maybe. So what did I have? I have some stocked up here, I thought. I have some somewhere. I don't remember. Anyways, so that's where we're at. So a little bit of base upgrades, some small things going on here. We got some more settlement progress that we're going to be working towards. And uh, Port Lab, in terms of the events, is uh, next on the thing. We've been hitting wreck ship. We actually got lucky. We grabbed a shotgun off, off of the last one, really luckily. And uh, this is where we're going to be. This is where we're headed next. We're going to try to get these tasks complete, get through this. Maybe, again, I'm going to pour in some resources to trying to get all of the floors cleared on the regular mode. So uh, I'm excited to try to do that. And again, farm some carbon composite, farm some factory parts, and uh, hopefully we can have some good success out of doing that. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of commune action, a little bit of uh, daily task action, talking about some tips and tricks, some thoughts and uh, kind of how we try to work through that. So hopefully you found that valuable. But uh, I'm Flash some socials, like, comment, subscribe. Got some other videos. We're going to post up some little uh, some little cards for you to take a look at here probably in a second. And or at the end of this video, we'll probably post up a video as well that you should uh, go take a look at. Besides subscribing, hitting the likes in the comments for us down below. The other best way to support us is check out some of the other content on the channel. So we do appreciate all the support. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying the free-to-play series. We continue to move through, continue to get some good progress, and uh, I'm continuing to enjoy it. So hopefully you are as well. But I'll say thanks. I've been Doc. We are the Average Gamer Guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.